Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a very special video. I'm doing my very first Finance Friday situation. The first place I saw this was with Plan with Elise. I will link her down below. I've learned a lot from her. I've also learned a lot from Jen Plans and the Wild University budget class. But I purchased at the beginning of this year this dashboard mini happy planner from the Princess Collection to be my budget planner. On the days of the week, I track my spending. On this side, I do kind of like a weekly review. But I'm going to set up my February budget in this planner and kind of talk to you about how I plan to use it. So I'm going to pull these pages out and we'll dive right in. Okay, so I plan to use the currently page for my overall budget. However, there's not enough room to do everything I want to do. So I also have this just classic filler paper that I cut down to fit in the mini that I will use. And we'll kind of talk about the different things that I'm planning to do. But uh, Aurora is already on this page. So I'm gonna kind of go with that theme and maybe add a little bit more of Aurora. My planner Bestie and I are doing a princess challenge where each month is a different princess and Aurora is the princess for February. So it just works out perfectly. If you want to join us, it's hashtag HP princess challenge. But let's just dive right in. I want to start with these planner words by Kelva Plan Volume 4 because she has a budget page in here and I know I want to use these. Now, I do want to say this is going to be more functional than decorative. As I said, I may add a little bit of Aurora throughout, but this is really like, this is my budget. So this is going to be numbers. I'll, I'll talk you through kind of how I am going to do different things. So I know that I'm doing budget here, and I know there's more that we'll use from here, but I want to see kind of where we go first. Um, I also want to mention I did just cover this up with some computer paper because it usually has like an important dates and I knew that I didn't need that. So now we have more area to play there. Um, but I'm actually going to be writing down some things in this video. So um, I won't show you all the numbers. Some of it's personal, like my income and stuff like that, but I want to create this with you. Okay, so at, on this side, the main part of this for me, I'm gonna write out the th my variable expenses and kind of what I budget for that this month. So we have groceries, we have eating out, we have alcohol, that's mainly for a bottle of wine here and there. I have gas for my car and home. So these are the different variable expenses that I will just keep right in my checking account. Over here, you'll see we'll do sinking funds. So there, there's some other things over here, but we're not there yet. So, so then I can just write next to that what my budget is for all of these for the whole month. Okay, and again, these are just the numbers that I have found work for me. I will adjust as needed. Um, obviously, your numbers are very different. I'm just eating for one person, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so that is that. Now, below that, I want to write my bills. So from that Kell of a Plan book, she also has a bills. Okay, so I'm going to put that right like this. And then I will fill in my bills that I have at a later time, but that's where I will write all of that. Now, okay, now on this side, let's see what we can add. Yeah, so she's on this side, so I wanna put an Aurora over here. Um, I think this one would be best. Right like that. And we may come back to do some of her friends and some of those other stickers but that's good to start. I also think I'm not gonna need this area down here. So I think I could put a box here. This is, I like this one the best, but because it's this color, I actually wanna put this, I'm gonna put this over here so that we can bring that color over here. And then down here we could do, I don't wanna put another Aurora, so maybe we'll just do this outline of her that just says love. Yeah, okay, that's cute, a good, a good start. Okay, so then back to, so for the lettered words, I think there's one in here for sinking fund. Yep. So let's put that one. I'm gonna put this up there to balance that. Okay, so now, 
here's where I'm gonna pull a ruler. We'll draw a line right on this one. Okay, so the categories that I need up here are category. So what is the sinking fund? So over here is gonna be end. We have start plus minus. So let me just write in all the sinking funds and then we can kind of talk about it. So in case you don't know, just very quickly, sinking funds are variable or they could be fixed expenses that you don't know exactly when you'll be spending them or you're not spending them every month. So for example, a category in here is clothing. I don't know that I will be spending money each month in clothing, so I kind of put money into a sinking fund to help me save every month. And then when that expense does come up, I have a bunch of money already saved for it. Okay, so we have car repairs, clothing, medical, gifts, planning, travel savings, and entertainment. So those are all of the sinking funds that I am going to be doing. All right, so not perfect. I didn't, you know, totally count everything out, but it looks all right. The only thing that's bothering me is that these are now not over the line. So I am going to wipe this out and rewrite it. So in here, we'll write what I'm starting with. Here, I will write any money that I add to that sinking fund. Here, I'll write any money that I subtract from it. And then here will be what the ending balance is. So whatever is in this column in February, I will move to the start column for March. Okay. And then down here, what I want to do, because I only have one column here for subtractions, and there may be times when I purchase multiple things in that category. For example, if I have two birthdays, I would need to do two subtractions. So down here, I, I think I want to do a spending tracker or a transaction log. And I, there's not really any words in here that would work for that. So I'm just gonna write that out myself and we'll do transaction log. Okay, and then here I will write, if I, ha if I buy any clothing, I'll put all of that information in here so that I know how much I need to subtract at the end of the month. Okay, so that looks really good. And then what I'm gonna do on the back of this page, let's go back. Now I need another, I have another spot to put in Aurora. Love that. But what I want to do on the back of this page is a budget review. So um, let's see. So I think we can do this one of her kind of sitting down here in the corner. Okay. And I may even do, let's do one of these full boxes like this one. We could do, well, let me see, before I put that down, let me see how big this budget review sticker is. Oh, it's it's small, so that would fit. Okay, so I am gonna put this here, just as like a little bit of decor, and then we'll take this budget review sticker and put it right here. So this will be a room where I can review at the end of the month what went well, what didn't go well. That's really important when you're budgeting. So that's kind of the gist of how this will work. So then on the monthly and these pages, on each of the days I write exactly what I spent, and then here I'll do a weekly budget review where I look at how much I spent and where I went over and how much I have remaining for the rest of the weeks. And then when I get to the end of the month, I will come back here and kind of total up all of this, see how we did, and then just kind of journal about how this month went. The only other thing I want to just kind of talk to you about is that I am going to take what my income is and then I will subtract what I have budgeted for these different categories. I'll subtract what all of my bills are and then I will subtract what I'm putting into all of these sinking funds. And whatever that remaining balance is, let's say it's $500, I'm going to split that up into an extra payment towards my student loans and putting the rest of that money into savings. So once I do that math, I'll figure that out. And let's say I put $400 to an extra student loan payment because that's my goal for this year is to just 
put lots of money, pay off those student loans, and then the rest of my extra money will go towards savings. So that's kind of what I learned. I think Plan With Elise did, recently did a budget video and she talked about a zero-based money something. I'm not exactly doing that, but I want to basically know where all of my money is going. So whatever money I have left from here, I'll decide where it goes so that I have a place for all of my funds. But I like doing this video. Let me know if this interests you. I have some other Finance Friday type videos coming up. One where I'll just, you know, decorate my mini spread. One where I will make some savings trackers and debt payoff trackers. So let me know if this is a topic that interests you. And I look forward to kind of catching you up at the end of the month on how all of this goes. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button. And remember to plan your truth so that you can live your truth. Thanks so much.